so hungry. My stomach is like, Hey you guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing yet another pick or pass. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute. But this one is going to be really, really, really interesting because I'm going to be talking about pre-glued eyelashes. Now, I gotta say, I was actually in Ulta the other day and I was actually trolling along the little eyelash section. And then the minute I saw, Ilora had a little section of pre-glued lashes. Girl, I cannot tell you how fast I backed that up and picked one of them up. They have a couple of different styles, but the one that I picked up is the wispy one because that's the kind of lash that flatters my eye the best. It's the kind of lash that I gear towards. These were really inexpensive. They were only like $4.99, $5.99 around that price range. A little bit more about the lashes before I actually apply them. I don't exactly know how new this product is on the market. I really like makeup that's very simple, easy to do, and I really, really appreciate drugstore affordable prices, so I like that this is affordable. I like that it seems like a very easy technique to do. It says here that you can apply this in 15 seconds. So that's a really interesting claim to make. It says here no glue, no mess, no stress. It also says that it is latex free. So that's really cool because I know that a lot of people are allergic or just get a lot of irritation from latex. I did ask you guys on Instagram as well if you guys would like to see a first impression and my DMs were flooded. You guys were like, yes, 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 yes. I even did a poll and you guys were all over it. But to me, it seems like you guys are also really interested and intrigued by this whole concept as well. Anyways, you guys, I'm like talking too much. Let's go ahead and try this on. Let's see what the business is about. Eye lore is already winning. This does label the actual eye that it's supposed to go on. It labeled the left eyelash and then the right eyelash. That's really, really cool. This picker pass seems to be going pretty damn picky right now. You get it? You guys get pick. Like, you gotta pick it up, okay. All right, I'm embarrassed. 15 second application, so I'm about to time myself. So they seem to come off really, really, really easily, especially where they're already pre-glued. Like, I have lashes that are not pre-glued and you literally are prying there trying to get them off of the packaging. So these come out really, really easily. I wonder if I'm gonna have to cut them. So before I start the 15 seconds, I just wanna make sure that this actually goes with my eye shape. I always have to cut at least a little bit. So the fact that I don't think I have to cut any, it's pretty interesting to me. Getting the 15 second timer. Okay. Ah, I stuck it wrong. Okay, hold on, wait, give me a minute. Wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Ah, wait, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right, ma'am. Slow your roll. All right, so I ended up sticking it and I was almost done, but then my tweezers got caught onto the lash band. All right, whatever, we're gonna screw that 15 second thing. I'm just trying to get it really close to my lash line, but I'm noticing that whenever I try to really stick my eyelash with the falsies, when I kind of just group them together like this, which is something that I do all the time, I'm noticing that the falsie keeps kind of like coming off because the lash band is staying stuck on the tweezer. It's getting stuck right there. See, so the closer that I get to the lash band, the more probable it is to come off. Wow, okay. Noticing something a little strange is happening on the inner corner. Maybe I probably should have cut them actually. You know what, I'm gonna take them off and I'm actually gonna cut them because I feel like the inner corner is a little bit too pokey. This is one eye with them on and you can obviously see a very immediate difference between one eye and the other eye. They do have a black lash band which is nice because it almost makes you look like you have a little bit of eyeliner on but you guys these are so comfortable and I took them off and I put them on a couple of times. I even took them off and I cut them a little because I feel like I did end up needing to cut them after all and the application and removal process was super easy and gentle so you guys no complaints. They seem like they're stuck on there pretty good. They don't feel any different than like my Ardell Wispies that I wear all the time. I'm shocked because even though it didn't take me 15 seconds, I definitely see it being something that could definitely take me that amount of time once I fully figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of like white spots here, so I don't know if that's gonna go away, but I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad at all. It could be worse. All right guys, so this is the final look right now with the lashes. A couple of things that I do wanna note to you guys, I did have to cut them, even though I thought I wouldn't have to. Secondly, when I started this video, I did have a layer of mascara on, just a thin layer because my natural lashes are kind of like a dark brown shade. Just so you guys know, I do have mascara on. Third of all, if you're going to use this, I would recommend that you try to use your fingers more so than tweezers. And if you're going to use tweezers, do not get too close to the actual lash band because it will stick to the self-adhesive that's already on the lash 
lashes and it will remove them. Just keep that in mind. Try to use your fingers and kind of clamp a little bit more um, gently because you don't want to have them keep coming on and off, on and off, on and off because I don't know what that will do to the lashes in terms of longevity. So you guys, this is the final look. I really, really, really do love them. The application process was really smooth, really, really easy and fast, which I really appreciate. I really cannot believe how quick this process was. Really shocked that I'm not hearing a lot more people talk about this. So you guys, in true Pricker Pass fashion, I'm going to take you guys along my day to see how long I can actually wear these. I don't think I'll be able to have them on for 15 hours because that would mean that I'd have to take them off after midnight and I do not think I can stay up that late today. So anyways you guys, it is 9.46 in the morning right now. So I will check in with you guys that are on to let you guys know how these lashes are holding up. You guys, so I am back for a really quick midday update. So it is a little bit after 3 o'clock. I think it's about 3.30 and you guys are just going to have to take my word for it because I'm recording on my phone and I don't have any way to show you guys the time but I wanted to provide a little update to show you guys how the lashes were looking. I still think they're holding up really, really well, and it's been a long ass time. It's been about six hours. That little white stuff didn't totally fade, but like I said, it's not too much of a deal breaker because it's not that much. It's not like too horrible, I don't think at least, but yeah, they're still super comfortable. They're still holding up really, really well, and I'm really happy with them. I'm very comfortable. I feel like they're just like normal lashes. There's nothing really standing out to me that's totally out of the norm. So yeah, everything's working out really well and I will catch up with you guys later with my final update of the night. So I am back in the studio for my final update of the night. It is currently 6.33. I have had these lashes on for just about nine hours. Very happy and pleased that I was able to get the time that I have out of these lashes because let's be honest, nine hours is pretty much a full day. Whether it be at work, whether it be running errands, nine hours is a long time to have makeup on. It's pretty much the average time, if not longer, of normal makeup wear time. I do still think that this was a true test to how these lashes would perform in any other regular situation. I can happily tell you guys, I absolutely approve. I do think that these lashes are an absolute pick. I can honestly tell you after nine hours of wear and tear with these lashes, literally you guys have been cooking all day. I've fried a couple things. I've literally had my face literally in front of a hot stove. And you guys, these lashes just, I, they haven't moved. They just have not moved. I'm shocked to say the absolute least. Now I am gonna get in on a close up so you guys can see how we're looking, but I still think that we're looking pretty Pretty consistent to how we've been all day long the lashes are still in place they have not moved at all they have not lifted really the only thing that I will say that I've noticed all day long and I kept pointing it out and I'm gonna point it out one more time is just these little white spots on the actual lash band and I actually got in closer with a mirror and I don't actually think they're white spots what it is actually is the glue so the reflection from any lighting against the lash band creates this almost little white looking dot that is along the line of the actual lash band but I will say that it's absolutely not a deal breaker for me because what I do when I get stuff like that even on regular lashes I actually go over that with some sort of eyeliner and that covers it completely the only reason I didn't do that today is because I wanted to obviously test this out without any influence of any other thing but now that I know that these little dots don't really fade away what I would do is just take some sort of eyeliner some sort of like eyeliner to do cat eyes and I would just kind of run over this really quickly just to make it nice and black and just to make sure that that doesn't poke through but other than that you guys lashes have to remain comfortable I feel like they look very natural they're very pretty they're wispy they're comfortable I absolutely think that they are worth purchasing especially where the price is right I mean you really can't go wrong with purchasing it even if you don't like them I still think it's worth a shot because the whole concept is really 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 innovative and I love it I'm impressed I really like them I love the concept I think these are going to be perfect for beginners and even if you're not a beginner and you're just not the type of person that really messes with lashes that much because you really don't like all the work that goes into them I think that these are worth trying out let's be real the glue and waiting for it to dry and having to go through all that process is a lot of the reasons people stare away from lashes so the fact that you don't even have to worry about this with this concept is just mind-blowing to me I think this is definitely going to step it up for everybody's lash game because a lot of people just don't want to bother with them right now but I feel like if you have something like this with any type of lash everybody's gonna be getting their paws 
falls all over lashes because who doesn't want something so quick and so easy I'm honestly pleasantly surprised I'm impressed and I just gotta say I lord did the damn thing so that's gonna wrap up this first impression pick or pass I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful and I hope this inspired you to go pick one of these bad boys up as always I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for making it to the end if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful of course don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thumbs up do help me out a lot because they let me know that you guys are enjoying my content lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos and that you want more like this so of course leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course before you leave don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you be a part of the family thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye all right guys let's try to take them off actually because I feel like that's also a part of wow that was quick all right I thought I was gonna have to struggle a little bit more all right okay let's do the other one okay that was quick too not bad Oh my god, can we just take a moment for saying I don't have any glue residue? Hallelujah, praise Jesus, that is the best thing ever. I love these, okay, I'm so excited. Okay, bye.